Hello and welcome to this first in a series of electrical principles training videos. In this series of videos, we're going to answer the very important question, what is electricity? Now, obviously, this is a really important question as you progress through your career as an electrical trainee and onto a fully qualified electrician. You've got to understand what it is that you're working with. Electricity is effectively your bread and butter, isn't it? And you want to understand exactly what it is. So in this series of videos, we're going to find out what electricity is, what it's made of, a little bit about why it behaves the way it does, and also how we can start to think about quantifying electricity. In other words, how do we measure electricity? So we'll start thinking about that. So we'll make a start. So first of all, let's think about what electricity actually is. Now to answer this question, it's going to seem like we're going off on a little bit of a tangent, but what we actually need to consider is what are the fundamental things that make up everything in the universe? Now for many, many years, people thought that the atom was the smallest building block of matter. They thought it was the smallest thing that could exist. In fact, the word atom itself means no cut, as in it can't be cut into smaller parts. As time has progressed and science has done more research, we discovered that actually atoms were made of even smaller particles. These particles we refer to as protons, neutrons and electrons. Now there's a couple of really important things we need to know about these and these will be really important for passing your exams. So the first thing to know is that when we consider atoms and their subatomic particles, protons, neutrons and electrons, those individual particles have different measures of charge on them. So they have an electrical charge assigned to them. Protons are positive. So if you have a proton, it is positive. The way to remember this is if you are pro something, it means you are for it, okay? Which means that it is positive, you are positive about it. So a proton has a positive charge. A neutron has a neutral charge. So it's almost the same word, neutral, neutron. It has no charge. And then finally we have the electron. Now the electron has a negative charge and it's the electron that we're particularly interested in because that's what we call the seat of electricity. Now if we consider a very simple atom such as we've got on the screen here, we can see that inside that atom the protons and the neutrons are contained in the centre of the atom. And the centre of the atom has a special name and we call that the nucleus. And again, that's a very common exam question. You may be asked, what are the particles that combine to exist in the centre of, or the nucleus of an atom? And the answer is protons and neutrons. So they live in the middle of the atom. And then around the outside, we have the electrons. And those electrons are actually in constant motion. So let's just get that spinning. So we can see there that the electrons are spinning around and around the outside of the atom. So in this video, we've learned some very important things. We now understand the structure of an atom. We know that it's made up of smaller particles. We can name those particles. We've got the proton, the neutron, and the electron. And we also know what charges they have. Protons are positive, neutrons are neutral, and electrons are negative. We also know protons and neutrons live together in the middle of the atom, in what we call the nucleus, and we know that electrons spin around the outside. In our next video, we're going to consider how this relates to electricity and how we can get those electrons to work on our behalf in generating our modern world.